Hey guys, this is Meowmix, and today I will be showing you guys how to mod your Wii U, specifically for modding Smash 4 with SD Caffeine. Before we get started, uh, just a disclaimer. Uh, for these mods, whenever you want to load them, you are going to need both your PC and your Wii U connected to the same internet connection. So, getting started, we're going to need a few things. The first thing is a software called XAMPF. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to download this. All you need to do is just download the installer and then uh, open this up and it'll be pretty easy. Uh, there's no adware or anything like that. I'm not going to install it because I already have it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the second thing we're going to need is a WinRAR archive. I will provide in the description as well. Uh, this just has two different folders in it, one called kernel, one called SD caffeine. So with that done, after XAMP is done, uh, we're going to go to wherever XAMP was installed, which should be w your local disk, but I have it installed on my separate hard drive. And then once you're in here, you're going to want to go to htdocs. And then just extract those files. That's all you're going to need to do here. From there, you can go back here and start up XAMP, or uh, it can also be right here on your start menu. Once XAMP is started up, you'll see the screen. All you have to do is just click on the start button right here, uh, up by Apache. Okay, we can close all of this stuff out and minimize this. Now the last thing you're going to need to do on your computer is go here and open up your command prompt, which you can do by typing uh, CMD into your search bar. Hit enter. And then type in I key, I, oops, sorry, IP config. Hit enter and you'll see all of these things. Now basically, all you need is this IPv4 address right here, which you can see mine is 192.168.0.8. Yours will probably be similar, but all you need to do is just remember that so you can get a notepad and just type that in on there. Um, oh, and before you do anything on your Wii U, make sure you do not have Skype running. If you're, uh, if you're connected to Skype, go ahead and log out because it will interfere and could make it uh, not functional. So go ahead and sign out of Skype and everything should work just fine. Now I will go over to my Wii U and uh, tell you what you need to do from there. Alright, now that we're over here on our Wii U, make sure you're connected to the internet and just open up your internet browser. So, once your internet browser is loaded up, all you're going to need to do is uh, modify a few of your favorite bookmarks on your home screen right here. Uh, you can see I already have them set, that, uh, set up, so you can just press Y to open up your bookmarks. Uh, you can't see it on the screen right now, but you're going to want to name one of them Kernel and the other SD Caffeine. And then in the URL bar, you're going to want to put this, what I'm about to put on the screen. Um, of course, in the part that says your IP, you want to put in the IPv4 address that you wrote down earlier in the video. Um, you're going to want to do that for both of them. And then once you have those bookmarks ready, all you have to do is just click on the kernel bookmark first. Once that loads up, this is the screen you will see. After that's done, it will take you back to your home screen where you can click on your internet browser once again. And then once your internet browser is loaded, click on the SD Caffeine bookmark and it'll take you to this screen. Um, 
it has some optional stuff here uh, for logging. Uh, you're not gonna really want to do anything with that. Uh, there's some other things online if you want to look into it, but we're not gonna need that, so you can just click on the A button. It'll take you back to your home screen once again. You can just click on your Wii U menu, and you will now be able to load your modded files uh, for Smash 4. I'm not gonna be covering how to get those files and add them into your game with your SD card in this tutorial, but in the next part I will be covering custom textures and custom music, so uh, I'll add an annotation right here if you want to go check that out. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.